Hello there, family friends. A view from across the world. Joey Jones is back on the road. Well, first and foremost, let me say, I love my peoples. I love my subscribers. I love you guys. Be careful out there, man. You still got a virus going on. You still got a virus that's just, just killing people, man. You know, it's killing, you know, our folks. It's killing our grandparents, our mothers, our brothers and sisters. You know, our neighbors. We got to be careful, man. You know, now it, it's starting to slow down. You know, it's starting to, you know, the spread is starting to slow down. Not the virus itself. You got to be careful, you know. I've been busy. I've been, you know, protecting myself. You know, right now, I'm... Uh, I don't even get to see anybody out here. That's why you don't see me with a mask on. But yet I'm at the customer right now. It's been tough for us, you know. We've been moving um, freight, you know, as you can see. And if you didn't know, everything that you have, I say about 90% of everything that you have in the house is run by a tractor trailer, you know. You know, it's it's what I'm saying, you know. So right now I'm at the customer I had to pick up a trailer. As you can see, I do pull in uh, in a moto. And, uh, all right, I just gotta connect my lines. You know, I do run in a moto and I run a, I run it off a 30 yard, man. That yard be 30, it'd be really, really filthy. You know, so then I try to keep my truck clean as possible. But there you go. The blue line is the service line. The red line is the emergency line. So then the, the power cord, this is the power. It's, you know, it feeds the lights and all the electricity onto the trailer. Make sure that's on there. So then you have the glad hands and of course you have the power latch you show the latches on there you know you gotta make sure these pins are all the way through which is that there between you can between there you can see that the pin is there raise up your landing gear That's basically what I do, you know. Drop a hook, raise up your landing gear. You know, sometimes you see the mark on how high you have to go. But I try to go as high as I can. You know, make sure that the kingpin, there's no gap between your fifth wheel and your apron. The kingpin, make sure it is locked. Should be able there's a shot between there no i left the first light but yeah you can see that when it locks into place the fifth wheel handle release which is this one here yep so when you go to school they'll show you everything they'll show you how to do all the parts i did a couple of videos on pre-trip Raise up the landing gear, because we're taking this. Yep. Yep. I always try to keep a mallet. Try to keep a mallet with me. The mallet. Mallet helps when you check, you know. You can use an air gauge to check out your tires. Or you could use a sledgehammer mallet, whatever. You just bang on the on the tires. If they sound solid, they're good to go. Yep. Sometimes you gotta squeeze in because some of these customers are tight. See? They go tight. That's basically what it is. Make sure the trailer lock everything. Make sure everything is. Yep. Sometimes they're breaking. See? That's because they probably the trailer backed into it. 
make sure that your lights and everything is working correctly. And that's basically what it is, like, you know, to pre trip your trailer. And I'm only going and doing down the street with it. Far with it. So, yeah, that's basically what I do all day, you know. But, yeah, my peoples. You know, I just want to say that, uh, that, um, yeah, I'm still here. I haven't been filming. It's been tough for many and for myself too. You know, trying to keep myself busy. Cause uh, as you can see that a lot of people got laid off. And a lot of people got fired, you know, dismissed from work. And I thank God that I'm still here running, you know. And uh, just wanna say congratulations to many. Study, 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 okay? So study back at home, study. Get your commercial learner's permit and your physical at home. Then go to school. Don't go to school and get your physical and your permit and you know and your permit because you're gonna be in school longer. So it only took me 18 days because I already had my uh, commercial learner's permit and I had uh, the physical in hand. So once they saw me that I had that in hand, I went straight to the yards with the big boys. Okay. So I'll keep you posted. Thanks for watching. Love you all. God bless you all. Thanks for watching. Remember that God is good. Always. Love you.